Hey YouTube, Atheist Vape is checking in. Today, we're going to be talking about the Steam Boy RBA. Ooh, look at that. This is an all original. Uh, I got this on loan from a viewer. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Um, it's an all titanium build. Um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty sweet looking um, RBA. When we get up close and personal with it, I definitely had some issues and uh, you know I used some curse words uh, <laughs> definitely had some issues took a few pause breaks this is definitely one of the most difficult builds I've done and it's not that it was super complicated or it has a lot of parts or anything it was just you know there's so many things about this that just don't seem like it was well thought out when they built it um, and you know, for those of you out there who really dig this thing, you know, I'm sure you've got it mastered in the way you build it. I have this on loan, so I only had it for a little bit to play around with. Building it was a trip. Um, and so for that reason, I would not give it any thumbs up at all. Uh, I wouldn't even recommend getting it. It is a very expensive atomizer. The original, this one, is going for $120. They do have clones of it, uh, I think on Fast Tech, you know, for maybe around 20 bucks or something. <laughs> Um, for those of you though who are expert builders and these kind of things are no problem for you, you'll probably dig it. Um, but for anyone out there who's getting into vaping and is thinking about this, avoid this thing at all costs. I uh, I I honestly hate it. Um, it vapes really good. It actually looks pretty cool, especially on this Astro mod. I mean, it's got you know kind of a, a cool futuristic look. Um, it vapes really nice. Good airflow. But like the wicking system is kind of weird and you know if you do a dual coil build on this thing which I'll show you when we're up close and personal you can't really get any juice in there because you're blocking the only holes that you have access to to put the juice in the damn thing. So there's definitely some things that uh, I am totally against when it comes to this atomizer and again I apologize for those of you who love this thing. Uh, I imagine you have your reasons, and I imagine they're very good reasons, but I absolutely dreaded building this from the super tight O-rings to the horrible wicking system. <sighs> There's just so many things wrong with this atomizer, I, uh, especially the cost, $120. I know it's made out of titanium. I used to work in a metal shop, okay? This is probably like, you know, 50 cents worth of metal. Anyway, um, yeah, let's, let's fire it up and see how it vapes. I mean, really good vapor production for an RBA. And, you know, really good flavor. It's a, you know, not quite as warm a vape as a dripper. But, you know, I think it puts off a little more vapor than like a K-Fun. Um, definitely has better airflow than my K-Fun. So, yeah, this is a tough one, folks. Again, it's an all original. So, you know, knowing that, uh, I feel like it should be judged more harshly. Because if it was a clone and it had these issues, I could see, because it's like, well, you know, you didn't pay that much for it. You know, you get what you pay for. In this case, you paid a lot for this. So, to me, they could have done things a little differently to make it a little easier on all of us. You know, if they had, like, a similar design, like a Kanger Pro tank, where you didn't have to, like, torque this, th this tank off... I felt like I was going to break this putting it on and taking it off. And again, I'll show you that when we get up close and personal, which, you know, is probably my most uh, disaster filled up close and personal I've ever done and the worst build I've ever come across. So for that reason, yeah, again, two thumbs down is what I'm giving it. Uh, it hits really nice. If, if you have someone to build it for you and do all that ahead of time, I'm sure you're going to love it. And again, if you're a, a pro builder, you're probably not going to have the same issues I had. But uh, because of the issues I had, I would never, ever, ever want this thing. Uh, I do really appreciate my viewer who loaned it to me. Uh, that's fantastic. You know, I would like to be loaned any type of, you know, atomizer or mod, no matter how hard it is to build, just so I can explain to you people what it's like. Um, and again, it does vape really nice. I'm sure there are better ways to put this together than what I did. You know, I just threw the cotton wick down in there and it seems to be soaking it up just fine. I'm not getting any dry hits. Um, yeah, let's, let's vape on it again and then we'll get up close and personal with it. Ooh, 
I love that strawberry nom nom. You know, despite the horrible build, the strawberry nom nom makes it all better. Thank you, Carpe Diem Vapor. Thank you. Again, great vapor production. Anyway, let's let's stop talking about it. Let's get up close and personal so I can explain all the issues. We'll be right back. Here is our up close and personal look at the Steam Boy. Let's see if we can get the autofocus to work at all. As you can see, it's got the Steam Boy logo or name engraved in there. This is an original, so that serial number actually means something. Number 194. Oh wow, this is this is a lot of fun with this autofocus here. There we go. Number 194, uh, this is the titanium one. Uh, the tank holds 2.5 milliliters. It's a plastic tank, frosted, so it's not dirty. Um, again, this is the original, so it's titanium. The, the serial number actually means something on here. Um, these O-rings are really tight, and I'll show you this. This thing is a bitch to get off, so just be aware, um, you know, when you first get it, it is really, really tough to get on and off. So, you know, maybe grease up these O-rings to help you out a little bit. Um, it's made to do a dual coil build, as you can see, but when you put your wick in there, you end up plugging up the very holes that you need to pour your juice in. So I'm just going to do a single coil build on this. Um, I just got a little micro coil I built off screen. I'm going to use the piece of the Nemesis as my <laughs> 510 stand since I still don't have one. Uh, unfortunately, I ordered that from Fast Tech, and it's going to take me 5,000 years to get it. So, we'll just uh, some screwdrivers here. Bear with me, folks. <clears throat> get that wrapped up top. So we can show you there. Boom. Snug down a little bit. All right. Hopefully you can see some of this. Not my favorite atomizer to build, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to keep this on screen here. Sorry for the camera, folks. I just bumped my head into it. Oh, come on. I'm going to take a little pause break and try to get this thing on there. Well, that was one of the biggest pain in the ass uh, coils I've ever had to place, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that alone would make me never, ever, ever want this thing. But uh, let's just hope it vapes nice, because that sucked ass. So just a heads up, that was fucking horrible. And I don't like to curse often, but holy balls, that sucks. I hate you, Steam Boy, and the fact that you're $120 makes me want to weep. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can at least get the cotton down in there. Uh, this is probably going to be fucking tricky as well. Everything about this seems to be a little difficult. Everything about it. Okay. Didn't really think this one through. Hmm, okay, let me take a pause break again. Sorry about this, folks. I am really having a difficult time. All right, we got the wick down in there. That was a lot of fun, I gotta tell you. My least favorite build of all time is now officially the Steam Boy. I hate this thing. <laughs> and it all has to do with how miserable that build was. So, let's hope... Uh, some strawberry nom nom makes me feel better and throw some of that in there and let's just hope the thing fucking vapes. It's gonna be a little difficult with a 
non drip uh, bottle, but whatever. Um, you know, as far as the build goes, people, I would never recommend this to anyone. Uh, I'm sure it's, uh, you know, it's got its perks. I can see why people like it. It's kind of cool looking, blah, blah, blah. As far as building goes, though, this has got to be the hardest, worst built, uh, you know, atomizer I've yet to come across. I absolutely hate it. Uh, and it has nothing to do with the look or the way it vapes or anything like that. It's just like, why would I want to spend a half hour building, you know? And when I got to change out the wick, yeah, that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I basically had to pull the tank apart just to get the damn wick in there. So, anyway, some things to keep in mind if you want to ever get this thing. It is a pain in the ass, and you're going to struggle. Maybe I'm the only one, but that seriously sucked. So, I have no intention of reshooting this, even though everything went bad. Um, so, we're just going to keep it how it is. <laughs> oh, sorry, folks. That, that was one of the most difficult builds I have ever ever done okay I didn't even test fire it because I'm so frustrated but let's just hope it works so that is the steam boy I put it together for you sorry for the struggle um, yeah let's get uh, back up in my face and see how this thing vapes fingers crossed it actually works that was our up close and personal shot of the steam boy all original titanium atomizer so again, I apologize for the curse words, people. I don't like to do a lot of cussing on my channel. It's not my thing. Um, but it was frustrating and it was warranted. Those cuss words were warranted for this build, okay? Again, for those of you who have mastered the Steam Boy, congrats. Uh, kudos to you. This is probably the most difficult, shittiest uh, build I've ever had. My thumbs hurt from pulling this thing apart. Uh, my brain hurts from the frustration and uh, all the pause breaks. <laughs> Everything about this was pretty much a disaster. I had to shoot it twice. That, that video was done twice. So that was the best of two, if that gives you any indication of how horrible of a time I had building this thing. So again, uh, you know, it is an original. It's made out of titanium, blah, blah, blah. There's some good things about it. It actually looks kind of cool. Uh, I dig it. Uh, I do like adjustable airflow, and the, you know, the, the threading's really nice for that. So there are some good things, but overall, uh, two thumbs down. I hate this thing. I would never, ever, ever, ever recommend this to anyone. So please avoid this at all costs. If you already have it, well, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, again, for the price, uh, they should have made this thing a little easier on people. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I would have gone with like that Kanger Pro Tank design where you can just unscrew it. And pull it apart instead of having to rip your fingernails off to pull this thing apart. I mean, even when I screwed it down into a mod and tried to torque it, uh, I don't know, it took me a good minute or two to get it pulled off, even after I greased up the O-ring. So, a lot of issues with this thing. Um, again, I really appreciate uh, my viewer who loaned this to me. Uh, he's got a dope-ass band, and I'm actually going to put a link to his band's uh, Facebook in the description because I really think you guys should check them out. He sent me an EP with, with the Atomizer. So, uh, there was a positive that came with the Steam Boy, and that is I discovered a great new artist. So uh, I highly recommend checking their music out. They were fantastic. So, uh, you know, uh, silver lining, right? <laughs> I got a really good album out of it. So uh, thank you again very much. I, I think his name was Derek. Uh, so good name, man. Good name. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's the Steam Boy. Apologies for my up-close and personal shot. It was a disaster, okay? I'm not gonna lie. We'll fire this thing up and I'll get the hell out of your out of your face. Yeah, I mean great vapor production, but to me, it's not good enough to warrant me ever, ever recommending this to someone. There are plenty of atomizers out there that are ten thousand times easier to build that still produce as good, if not better, vapor. So that's my two cents. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure to like my video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, Atheist Vapist is out.